Hey folks, I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. And we are boiling sap for maple syrup. Production is full on, and we're talking about an update right here on Cabin Life. Hello, welcome to our channel. We're all about sharing our adventures and experiences around our homestead and off-grid cabin here on our 40 acres in the wilderness of Ontario, Canada. <laughs> We enjoy life around the cabin, exploring, canoeing, hiking, campfire cooking, gardening, and sharing our love of nature. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing and click the little notification bell so you won't miss anything. Right here on Cabin Life with Glenn and Maureen. So yes, today we are giving an update and we're making a special coffee over the campfire. Since we're boiling maple sap and uh, we've got this down to probably Oh, almost 50% reduced concentrate. So it should be pretty sweet by now. Not that it's syrup, but it'll be sweet water. So we're thinking we're gonna make some coffee with the water. No need to add sugar, right? We'll see if it works. Wow, what a difference in just a few days, eh? Yes. The snow has almost all but disappeared. The bush is all brown. There's a few patches here and there, but very, very little compared to just two days ago. Just amazing. Mother Nature sure has a way of changing the landscape really fast. Kind of confusing sometimes, almost like as if it's a completely different landscape that we've never even recognized before. But it's just great to have springtime roll around, eh Maureen? Oh, it sure is. It's real nice, especially with doing the uh, sap, having a nice hard ground underneath, seeing the sand. I am so ready for spring. And the garden is peeking through the snow too. Last year at this time, we still had two feet of snow all around, and we had a snowstorm on April the 20th. Yeah, it sure is nice, and it's been so mild. It was up to about uh, 12 degrees Celsius, like 52 or something Fahrenheit. So yeah, really oh, nice. Nice. And this is great for our garden plans because we were talking about doing the, uh, the dome over the garden, so we'll be able to get that started earlier than we were intending. So that's really awesome. So not only has the natural landscape changed, with all the snow disappearing and the buds starting to come out on the trees. But the landscape, with this new situation globally, the landscape has changed around the world. We are now under a different protocol socially, the way we behave and conduct ourselves, that kind of thing. We don't notice it as much here in the wilderness where we are, isolated, far away from any towns and cities. But we are socially distanced by default, really. And there's a lot of stress that I'm sure people are going through now. Families are going through changes. Parents that worked full time are now home with the family. The family dynamics are different. Kids are home, 
mom's doing triple duty so in these times it's important that we're aware of those stresses and find time to decompress find time for yourself time for solitude and quiet and peace maybe watch a nature video they say that a few minutes of listening to nature can really help to de-stress one 20 minutes of listening to nature sounds, birds singing, the sounds of water and the waves, rain, thunder, whatever you like to listen to in nature, they say 20 minutes will help your mind relax and de-stress. Ever since being on this property, I found that going for walks, um, Jake and I go for walks a couple of times a day. And I find it really helps me relax and get focused and get grounded. And Jake, Jake is like my protector dog when I go out for walks or gathering the sap now. He's always there with me. If there's anything in the bush, boy, he sure lets me know We've got right, right away. Right here behind us too. So you don't have to worry about the bears coming that are s smelling the wafting sweet smell of no. sap boiling. Jake will, he warns us. Uh, quite amply and lets us know that there may be something lurking in the bush and uh, or you know somebody somebody uh, you know walking along the road or anything like that his he's got a good keen sense of hearing and he's a good oh. protector yeah and he has a really good nose he too. does yeah, yeah he does how is that coffee doing I think it's about ready I think it's perking Oh, coffee, all right. It's hot. Cheers to our maple sap coffee. Cheers. Uh, see how it tastes. See if it needs sugar or not. Wow. No. no. Oh, is that ever good? That's not that sweet, but it's it's just perfect. I thought at first it tastes like my regular coffee. This is fantastic i was gonna say it tastes a little bit like flavored coffee a little yeah this is awesome all right so there you go you boil your maple sap down to about 50 percent <laughs> brew up some coffee with it with the water really good cheers guys cheers be well be safe we'll see you next time on cabin life take care over and out